I'm going to go through this last question here, which is question three from your handbook, um, page 54. Um, the first part of this question starts uh, by asking us to draw um, the cooling curves for these different compositions at uh, composition Z, uh, X, and Y. And um, if we go back to what we understand about um, the cooling curves, we understand that if it's a, if it's a solid metal, um, the cooling curve has a very simple um, shape, and that is um, what we have over here in the, um, part Z. So I'm going to start with the last one because that's the easiest. This is um, material antimony. Uh, it's 100% of that material. So there's no composition. It's solid 100% uh, of one metal. So there's no composition. It's not an alloy. It's actually 100% of that material. And so the cooling curve for this is going to look quite um, simple, like we've seen before, with a flat line. And going down with that flat line is the part, point at which it changes from a solid to a liquid. And that temperature is this temperature up here, which is around about 450. So you'd write 450 in there. So it's a pretty simple diagram when it comes to uh, material that's a solid mixture. And that's why Z is pretty simple. Um, when we look at this in terms of Y, well, Y is going straight through that uh, eutectic point. Um, so because it's going straight through the eutectic point, it behaves like a solid mixture as well, uh, a single um, metal as well. So when you look at it in your textbook further up, you'll see that um, a material cooling along this line will behave exactly the same. So it too will have this um, straight line going across and coming straight down. The difference though, of course, is that the temperature that that happens at is at 250 because that's the point of the temperature point. So you'd write 250 along here. The, the one that's X is probably the most tricky one um, because this is the one where we see a combination of the two materials and how they cool. And what happens is that it'll cool in a straight line all the way to this point. At this point over here, it'll start having that curved cooling we've seen before in our cooling curves. And then it'll get to this eutectic line where it's changing to a solid state and the rest, the remainder of the material will turn to a solid. And so what happens for these ones is you get a cooling curve followed by an angled, followed by a flat line, followed by a straight line down. Because it essentially, um, in this example, let's say, for instance, it's lead. Um, all the lead starts to solidify um, once the um, material has... Um, completely run out. So if you've got a high percentage in this case of lead and a low percentage of the other material, what starts happening is that the two materials start to cool and solidify and then eventually the eutectic part just creates a single material like it did over here at this point. Um, and so you get these temperatures and the temperature where this whole process starts is at 300 where it hits that liquidus line. So it'd be 300. And the 250 is where it does this cooling curve over here, so that would be 250. And so that's what the cooling curves for those, those three uh, compositions are, X, Y, and Z.